Oh. Ah, Genie, would you please find the open channel broadcast for the Melada Garden? Our flight path to Cursor's stronghold should take us close enough to hear the planet's biophonies, the songs of the natural world. They are the perfect bomb for our jangled nerves after our harrowing adventures on Barrendale Mesa. On a positive note, however, Baron Del Mesa did give us the opportunity to decisively defeat the last of the Spark Hunters. Beepo, I have double and triple checked the signal. The Melodic Gardens have gone completely silent. But that's impossible! The entire planet is a living symphony! Uh, unless it's going through a minimalist phase. I believe I have found another explanation. A very recent outbreak of dark mess activity on the planet. <clears throat> Genie! Change course to the Melodic Gardens at once! Uh. Uh. We'll get there as soon as possible, Rabbit Rosalina, I promise. But if we don't save the Melodic Gardens first, we may be walking into the lion's den with a viper at our heels. density here on the Melodic Gardens has been drastically altered. Until it has been returned to normal, our ship will be unable to achieve the thrust necessary to escape its atmosphere. Hmm. Nothing will be normal here until we rid the Melodic Gardens of dark mess. Rest assured, it will be difficult. How difficult? Of course, this level of difficulty could change at any point during our mission, but that's nothing new for us, is it? Right. Now let's hurry before we attract any unwanted attention. Thank <laughs> you. 
God, if my analysis is correct, we will soon see a new and terrible foe hatch from those shell-like chrysalises. Once defeated, they will return to their egg state and emerge rejuvenated, unless you dash them while they're in the egg. A dangerous enemy indeed. I strongly suggest having a closer look at them using the Tacticam. Let's go!
Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Since we are close to the source, open your ears to the biophony, the most emotionally uplifting eco music in the galaxy. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought anything could completely silence the Melodic Gardens, even darkness. Beepo, I believe I understand. Melodic Gardens is out of balance due to the muzzling of its symphonic ecosystem. For example, the planet's air density has become much heavier, which is preventing our ship from launching. Given that all music is merely a determinant of the mathematical laws of harmonics, could we not simply reconstruct the planet's biophonies digitally to restore harmony to the melodic gardens? Gee, real music cannot be reduced to mere mathematics. Why, the two have as much in common as an octave to an octopus. Interesting that an octave is the distance between the first and eighth note of a major scale, and an octopus has eight Enough, Genie!
This is the concert pond. I recognize it from the many pictures I've seen. It is, or was, the very heart of the planet. Beepo, I am detecting several rabid life forms within that darkness puddle. <laughs> that must be the Melodic Garden's award-winning musicians trapped inside! Hurry!
We've never seen that before either. Better use the tactic cam to find out more about this new foe. <laughs>
I could not be certain. I believe I detected someone spying on us after we landed. It was you, Affirmative. I'm Allegra. No offense. <laughs> I like it! <laughs> A dark shadow. Harmony destroyed. <gasps> ah. Even so. Monster. Silence looms. Farewell.
Right on time. <laughs> Mario. Enough <laughs> talk. It's Kanya! Perhaps it's you who should beg off. Not one of Cursor Spark Hunters has proven capable of stopping us yet. I'm no Spark Hunter! Release hmm. my friend. <laughs> sure thing. Forgive me. That's better. Don't. <laughs> 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 
Oh, leaving so soon. No worries. Oh, did Kanya's reaction to losing the battle appear odd to you? It was almost as if she were pleased. Given how hot-headed she is, I doubt we've seen the last of her. We must find Allegra immediately. She and her friend are still in grave danger. The path is flooded. That water completely cuts us off from following Allegra on foot. Fortunately, the weight carrying capacity of that boat should be sufficient to ferry us after her. Yeah, wow.
I am detecting two life forms beyond this gate. One significantly larger than the other. It must be Allegra and a very large friend. Oh, I suppose Allegra and a very tiny friend. Let's just hope they're unharmed. Hmm. There are no traditional locks on this door. That tree is Prunus arpeggialis, more commonly known as a sweeping tree. It has a symbiotic relationship with musical entities known as mellospheres, eliciting layered frequencies in inverse... Yes, yes, again, please try to separate your love of math from music while we're here. Oh, I never thought I'd long for the days when we traipsed around looking for keys. Ah, oh, well, let's find this sweeping tree and see if we can find out why the metal sphere stopped interacting with it. Oh, my God. 
the Melodic Gardens, drawn by our wild songs, as so many had before. Show this stranger nothing of the secrets we said. She will destroy our wild songs, and the lost melody will stay hidden forever. flooded the labyrinth with no regard to anything in it, simply to make her command post inaccessible to anyone but her. Thankfully, we found a crude but serviceable boat left behind by her minions. All in all, I find spark hunters much more dangerous on their own, at least when under Curse's command, they behave somewhat predictably. The beauty of the Melodic Garden's concert pond... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. <laughs> 
Oversized oven timers became a major status symbol for a time. Even I got swept up in it. 
No one remembers exactly how it started or why. Frankly, we're all a little embarrassed by it.
Said Dark Mass Puddle. Whoa! Ah, it's always something, isn't it? Never easy. All right, let's go. Spheres. They won't be safe until we rescue them and bring them to their nest at the center of the battlefield. You'll have to carry them, but be careful. They're fragile and easily frightened. Protect them from attacks at all costs.
。おきどき
Let's go!
home.
Oh yeah, can't stop Ouija. Ouija!
Hurry! Allegra and her friend can ill afford to wait another moment.
without music, we will become a desert. Let's see this through. We must save that Dory. That's our primary objective. But there's no use fighting the Mecha King Babam for the time being. It's invulnerable, even to its own Babams. But how to clear a path to that Dory when there are darkness blocks sitting on the ground buttons we need to activate? Aha! We'll use the bombs to destroy the darkness blocks, then activate the ground buttons to alter the terrain. We need to choose the path we create carefully, 
different enemies await us with each approach. To the Tacticab! Let's go!
The tide has turned. I hope Allegra is with us. See that sound amplification antenna inside the cage? If we destroy the blocks covering the cage's ground button so we can activate them, we can free the antenna. After that, it will be up to Allegra and the Dory to use it to get us past the Mecha King Babam's shield.
leaving soon. Heroes indeed. As is our duty. Besides, if Kanye had been left to her own devices, who knows how powerful she would have become? To take her and Cursor on at the same time may have been too much, even for us. Pardon me, Allegra. May I ask some questions regarding the laws of mathematics and... Genie? I apologize, Allegra. Genie here understands little about the artistic process, much less the emotions involved. <laughs> Balance. ever since we left Baron Del Mesa. Speaking of leaving, with the planet now in balance, the air density has normalized. The WM arc is ready for launch. Positions, everyone! 